Hi, this is Dan, and I'm here with more Let's Play of Monster Train. So I've had another win uh, off camera, uh, and this is uh, the last combo that I don't have any wins with, which is the Hellhorn slash Umbra, so we're going to give it a try here. Uh, those cards that we had to start with didn't necessarily fill me with confidence, but I do like Rage Not Decaying. It's uh, a... That's a route that gives you a lot of power. Um, well, I'm gonna go with this guy. Um, I think the third option is the kind of actually the one we want, but uh, I'm gonna try this. It's sort of work. I, the problem with this, the multi-strike guy, is he's just too uh, fragile, in my opinion. Um, uh, unit draft is really good. So I'm going to turn that on, even though I just got through saying he's too, our champion is too fragile, so. Yeah. Hopefully we can use some morsels to tank hits. Or also, uh, we can torch that dude. Well. Get this guy up here in case the collector shows up. The collector is there. Uh, Consumed. I don't think that. Okay, no, it's a consumed spell. All right, so he wouldn't do anything, but he can tank a hit. So I guess do that. Uh. And unfortunately, the collector gets away here. Um, there's really nothing we can do about that. <laughs> yeah, if we could, if we could get some decent morsels. Um, all right, well, this is at least something that will boost his uh, his attack. Uh, Well, get life steal uh, with only six HP. I don't think it's that great. Um, yeah, we definitely want to torch this guy in the back. Yeah, with lifesteal, you know what, maybe I should have put the train steward in the back. Probably would have done more damage overall, because we sort of just wasted this guy's lifesteal. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so can we do 12 damage? Yeah, I think we can. Eh, you know what? Let's not even bother. Let's just let him win. He's already already dead. So we'll let the train steward get it. So we lost 10 pyre health, which isn't great, but we did get a unit out of it, so I think it's a fair trade. Um... Okay, well, Rage doesn't decay, so a way to get Rage is valuable. And I think um, uh, a way to get some quality morsels is good. I think Morsel Master makes sense to me. Horned Warrior is okay, but um, I think we need you know something that's going to be tanky up front. Um, and right now that's, uh, right now our sort of morsel master, or not our, mor our champion, uh, and he needs support, so, um, yeah, I don't think we have amazing spells, so, uh, yeah, so there's, I don't think any sense going to the merchant of magic, go over here, Mm. So the Morsel Maker, I, the big problem I had, well, I have a couple problems with him, actually, is he, he sort of gums up the works uh, in terms of capacity uh, if you put him out first, and then also the uh, it costs two ember. So I guess we'll go with the Crucible Collector. Alright, uh, well... Make him, making him beefier is good. It gives him some survivability uh, on turns where he doesn't have uh, lifesteal. Um, Alright. Uh, pure on each floor, I think, is a little bit tough, especially because they're raged. Um, so let's not turn the, uh, the thing on on this one. Alright, so, uh, unfortunately, I was going to say we can let them burn out a little bit. Um, but we can use vent here, so that's not that bad. Morsel Master. Alright, damage shield is good. And then our guy doesn't die. It would have been nice to get the rage from the imp, but We didn't have the ember to do all the things we wanted to do. Uh, so, okay, we're not dying there. Although with the um, haste, I guess that's a problem. Well. You know, I probably should have put those in front to tank hits. As well protect the pyre from that one point of damage. I don't think we want to turn the Ember Drain on here. Alright, 
right, so we are dying. Uh, pretty badly. Um, and also, it is very important that we kill the uh, Haster. Uh, I think th this is what we want to do. Yeah, so our, I mean, the, the multi-strike champion, it's like he's... I mean, the multi-strike part of it is good, but uh, he's just so fragile that uh, it's hard to make it work. Uh, do we have any consu- well, we have packed more- well, we don't really need anything. Let's just do that. Helper is not bad. Uh, rage. Let's get this. A rage six uh, that doesn't decay is pretty good, even though that thing is way too expensive. I do love morsel miners, even though this is also too expensive. Um, we could go mine collapse. It's a way to get ember, if I remember to use it. Um, I mean, feeding feeding uh, morsel miners to our champion is also going to be really good. Um, I don't think we have the money to make good use of this, so I'm going to go here. Um, well, this is interesting. So we have expensive spells. So maybe we'll try this. I, I likely will forget that I have it. Um, uh, I'm gonna get the Morsel Maker, even though I don't like him. And he'll just team up with the, uh, the Crucible guy. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I mean, we kind of need to use this for something good. Um, I don't think we want Crucible Collectors, because they don't combine well with each other. Fledgling Imp, maybe. Give a lot of rage. Um, alternatively, the Packed Morsels. This thing, oh, it's expensive, but we did just get the, um, thing that makes expensive cards good. Let's try that. And maybe I'll actually remember. So it's when you play a spell, spells in hand. So it, yeah, I don't think it will affect creatures. All right, double barrel. That's tough. The, uh, the thing we're worst at is absorbing damage. Okay, so I don't think we can set up on the first floor. And 
I'd like to get the Crucible Collector out there, but I also want to see what happens if we do this. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't... Doesn't work for him. So that's a bit of a problem, that, uh, that our top floor is kind of screwed. But at least now we know for sure. Which I think I've known for sure, like, in the past, I just didn't remember. Alright, well... I mean, Morsel Maker, we would put him up here. Which I guess we can do if we torch that. And he's uh, eventually we want to put the uh, the crucible collector up there. Um, yeah. All right. I'm gonna vent there to save my champion from some damage, even though I would like to give him a morsel. So 22 damage coming in. Uh, if we put the Morsel Master and a Morsel down, we'll be able to tank the front. To, yeah, we'll survive. I don't. I'm not loving it. But yeah, uh, we're not surviving. Okay, apparently I did the math wrong there. Uh, so this guy, this guy. Oh, it's double barrel. Damn it. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I guess we're gonna try to get a train steward going up here. And the middle four, now that we're gonna lose our champion, is gonna have to be the... Um, Crucible Collector. If he comes around again, which is going to be a while. Because our deck is too full. Uh, Yeah, this is... <laughs> so at this point, basically, we're trying to see if we can mitigate the disaster. I, I, we need at least one more ember to make this thing work, because uh, our, our deck is too... Um, uh, how do I say that? Um inflexible all right well this this is a huge huge problem all right so yeah all of these guys are dying <laughs> we really need a vent right about now we do not have one um, packed morsels don't really buy us a whole I mean well it's not terrible This guy. Um, bring in our fledgling imp. Just 
still doesn't do us any good. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. We're just getting swamped. Like, I think with that, you know, uh, we, we kind of made a long-term play with that, um, with the duplication, uh, event. And I think it's just not working out so well. Alright, well this is a little better, I guess. Oh... Be nice if we could actually get some units that did something. I guess get this guy out of our deck. Uh. Yeah, uh, I, I don't foresee us winning. We've only got 31 pyre health. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think my comment earlier about fragility was right. I mean, it's it's sort of you know, was right about that particular unit, but just also in general, this deck, uh, like the way we built it, it's too fragile, because basically uh, we get jammed up by these expensive cards. They're like, they're not useful, because um, we have to get... Um, uh, you know, we have to get our units out. Oh, onto the battlefield. Yeah, right, so we can't use it, but then it's like we don't have enough stuff to um, keep our units alive, so. <laughs> yeah. It's like I think it would work if we just had one more ember, but we don't, so it doesn't. <laughs> and here, even like this, it's not. You know, we got them down to 169, which. I know. I mean, obviously, it's not enough to win. <laughs> uh. All right. Well. Uh, yeah. I guess that's a short episode today. Uh, I've, I've had some longer ones recently, so I think that's okay. Um. Yeah, well, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching and hope you come back next time. Bye.